hello kids welcome back to my channel today we are going to make a jumping frog game so it is on the request of a student you can also comment below and we can also tell us that which kind of game we have to make next so let's start our game without wasting our time so first we have to choose our character and i have to choose a frog because i'm making the frog game so let's choose the character the sprite so i have done choosing the sprite let's choose the background there are a lot of backgrounds here you can choose any of the background which you like okay you can choose the rays you can choose the pool according to your game so i like blue sky so blue sky is perfect wow it's looking pretty okay now we have to choose one more character why we have to choose one more character because our characters the frog have to jump over that character okay you can choose any of them you can choose egg you can choose anything okay but i'm going to choose a rock so here the rogue size is little bit big but i don't want to uh, use our very big one so for this what we have to do you just have to click on size and you can decrease the size you can increase the size of a sprite okay now let's start the coding for the coding what we have to do you have to go to the motion log and you have to select change y by 10 so here we go i just choose this i click on this then i have to put this block into the repeat block so go to the control and then select a repeat block now look so you have to do the same thing for again but this time you have to use a negative sign like first we use 10 now you have to write minus 10 here also you have to do the same i'm going to choose the repeat block and attach these two blocks okay so uh, to make the game more interesting i'm going to choose the event whenever i press the space key okay you can choose any you can there are a lot of keys when we flag when we press flag when the sprite click okay you can choose any of them now it is up to you if you want to add the sound you can add the sound here how we can add the sound you just have to go to the sound and you can just choose this after this look our sprite is jumping now we done making coding for the egg now you're um, for the frog or frog is jumping not the egg okay so now let's make the code for a rock and we have to glide the rock like that okay so for this what we have to do i put here at the corner and then i'm going to choose go x by x and y after this i have to choose one more block glide one second to x one ninety six y ninety six okay here we go i set it like that it's perfect now now if you want to uh, to repeat this action what we have to do if we want to repeat that action we have to use a forever loop so you have to put these two bl blue blocks into the forever loop like that oopsie you have to put it like that okay great after this what we have to do we have to choose an event block when flag pressed okay now look our uh, rocks are gliding like that it's looking pretty now we also have to make more coding for it it's not completed okay so i thought that the size of the uh, frog is a little bit small so let it increase the size to 150 now look how is it working and i just click on the green flag then my rocks are moving if i click on the space button then definitely my frog will jump okay okay now what we have to do as they can you see our rocks are in very very fast mode but we don't want fast for this what we have to do you just have to uh, go to the glide and you have to select two instead of one okay also we have to stop the game whenever the frog touches the 
rock okay so for this you just have to click stop all you have to choose the stop all button a block and then also you have to choose wait until and then you go to sensing block and you have to choose touching touching frog trait and also i put a flag here now look now also my frog is jumping and whenever my frog click the this look at this can you see great now look my frog is jumping now let's start again and next you have to make more coding for it so for more coding we also have to it's like that whenever our frog is jumping from the rock it is stuck so for this problem we have to go to the looks motion block and then you have to choose glide one second to the random this one is going to random position if you are making a bee or any flying thing you can choose this one okay otherwise you can have to choose the other one that you have to glide one second to x and y okay remember that so I'm going to choose glide one second to X and Y. Here we go. And also I put the flag. Great. Now look, I also duplicate it. Okay. For duplicating, you just have to click uh, on the rock and you have to click right. Okay. Click on the right of your keypad. And then you can just duplicate it. Now we have the same coding and we have two rocks. Okay. So for the second one, we have to add some more changes in it. So you have to go to the weight block and you have to choose wait one second. Okay. So I choose wait one second. Also, I have to go to the looks block and I have to show and hide it. Okay. So I'm going to choose hide or show block. So can you see? where I have to put that trait now look my frog is jumping over the rocks now look it's jumping whenever I press the space button and also I have to press the flag look and also it's a game so definitely we have to add score so for the score what we have to go do we have to go to the variables and you have to create my own variable and you have to write scores after writing score you have to click on ok and now can you see there are scores showing at the top of the screen now also i want that whenever my frog will jump my frogs are increased so for this i am going to choose change my variable by one ok so instead of my variable i'm going to write score after this also i want that whenever my frog touches the rock it will become zero my score will become zero so for this what we have to do you have to choose set my variable to zero and instead of my variable you have to select scores now look whenever i touch whenever i jump my scores are increasing but whenever i touches the rock my scores are become zero so let me show you the demo so i am going to big the screen look now whenever i jumping my scores are increasing but whenever i touch the rock it will become zero again so if you like this video then you can subscribe to our channel